The final thing I want to get into in this episode is an interesting study, and I'm seeing this on collective evolution here. But the study shows what a ketogenic diet did to mice with systemic metastatic cancer. You see the tumor size in mice before and after treatment. So the, the tumor size, and you see ketogenic diet combined with oxygen therapy, it eliminates the tumor. Uh, what is a ketogenic diet? It's a diet that promotes several different health benefits for the human body, benefits that arise when we put ourselves in starvation mode. And it makes sense. It goes on to say... Uh, years ago, humans didn't have access to food every single day, and so the idea is that it has we have two fuel sources, fat and sugar, and when we have a lot of sugar stored in the body, our body uses that sugar to feed our brain and other organs, providing the energy they need to function. When we run out of sugar, we switch to fat. And this can only happen when we're depleted of glyco glycogen, which is, uh, I guess, sugar, right? So it is in this mode that ketone bodies are produced. Molecules created by the liver from fatty acids during periods of starvation, fasting, low food intake, uh, and intense exercise, and high-fat diets. So... Today, a ketogenic diet is used to treat cancer, seizure disorders like epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and more. And it is slowly gaining popularity. I heard about it on Joe Rogan's podcast and with Tim Ferriss and just sort of gradually over time. But it's, it's still a bit obscure. So, yeah, they go on to talk about here, Joe Rogan's podcast and Dr. Dom Dia, Diaga. Oh, my goodness. Diagostino, Diagostino, I don't know how to pronounce that, that the pharma, pharmaceutical industry is very interested in ketosis. So they're working on a pill that mimics the effects of a ketogenic diet instead of encouraging people to do it naturally. You can do it right now. So, D, Diag, D, wow, this name is wild. Diagostino. Diagostino and his colleagues published a study titled The Ketogenic Diet and Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy Prolonged Survival in Mice with Systemic Metastatic Cancer. And it explains that it's already known that the ketogenic diet uh, elevates blood ketones, has been shown to slow cancer progression in both animals and humans. The study also revealed that the ketogenic diet uh, significantly decreased blood glucose slowed tumor growth and increased mean survival time by 56.8% in mice with uh, metastatic cancer, systemic metastatic cancer. So, and it goes on to talk about it, but I guess the, the most interesting thing in terms of health and wellness, there's so much that we already know that can, that can work in terms of cancer. Uh, one other thing that came across my desk is the work of... Uh, a gentleman named Lakovsky, L-A-K-O-V, let's, let's actually look this up, Lakovsky, he was treating cancer with simple uh, methods a hundred years ago, and so was Dr. Royal Reif, don't you love autocorrect, I absolutely love it, with the oscillating circuit, right? And he had great success. George Lakowski, multi-wave oscillators and rife machines, um, da, da 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 had a 98% success rate in treating fatal cancers. There's a lot that I think we know. And the ketogenic diet is just another thing I'd like to bring to your attention in the study that came out because there's so much we know, and we just need to get the pharmaceutical industries on board. If we can release ourselves of this money control system, um, we can actually come out with technologies will just explode. And again, eventually, government will be voluntary because technology will evolve so much that people will be able to do whatever they want, even off-planet, going a variety of places, and governments will be voluntary, and, and we won't have to worry about needing to profit and suppress technologies. Uh, I'm sure there will be technologies that will 
or are already quote unquote dangerous and there will be ways to sort of um, either send love in that direction or sort of harmonize yourself or surrounding areas so those things can affect you less and things like that as things evolve. But overall, as we release these technologies and this truth and all of these things that already have existed, it's almost like parents who, uh, who are worried that they're really um, suppressing a child. They're kind of, they're, what do they say, they're sheltering a child eventually that child's going to wake up and understand there's so much more in the world. And the more that they suppress the child, a lot of times the crazier that child goes. So people are ready for the truth and we just need to get everybody on board. And actually the, the politicians that we need to elect and the people we need to elect are the ones most likely to talk about these things and even talk about things that quote unquote threaten the control structure because the control structure it, it, it's not that, that it's a bad thing companies the people at them and even at the top they're trying to help people and make money because we do currently live by money we, we free energy is not public and everybody has to pay their bills right now but free energy will become public we're working on that in Venezuela and technology will change and when it does, everything will change. Everything will change. Where we don't need this con control structure of money. Money can be used to trade and things of that nature. So I want to offer that to you on this episode of Believe. Again, I'm in an airport in China, in Shenzhen. But I wanted to get an episode to you because it's been a while. It's been a week. We're actually moving the studio and there's a lot going on. We're, we're building a technology company and we're trying to harmonize things and offer alternatives. And so there's a lot of free videos at youtube.com forward slash believe loves you at uh, believe.love as well. Our website, www.believe.love and iTunes users get the podcast version at believe iTunes.com and Android users at believe I'm Nicholas Upchurch. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and found it informative. Leave your comments because they're so valuable and spread the links because you are making a difference. The more you spread the links, the more comments I see, the more resources and money I can sink into this and sort of build, we can build an alternative or a new form of news where we want to cooperate. And even if we don't agree, uh, even if, you know, um, some people are Republican or Democrat or that's fine, but we can actually find common ground and we can work on solutions that are actually bigger solutions even above the debate. For example, instead of arguing about everybody having health care or no health care, um, how about just focusing on technologies that were being explored 30 years ago, or excuse me, 100 years ago or, or 70 years ago by Dr. Royal Reif and Lakovsky and the ketogenic diet that could solve the problem altogether. Now, that the pharmaceutical companies, we have to get them on board. We have to come together and release these technologies now and sort of get things out there so that we, we can make that transition to using money just to trade. And it will take a, it will take a lot. It will take a lot because people, people are afraid of this. And um, there are probably other uh, influences in our... Um, in our world or things that maybe we can't even see interdimensional influences that might not want this to happen but there are interdimensional influences that do want it to happen that would like us to choose it I believe and it's our choice and so we can love the people that want control just like people that love their parents that are way too over overreaching but that we can also show them that there might be a different way and you can see sometimes kids can teach their parents a lot right they really can. So much love to you. I hope to talk to you again soon. Leave your comments or email me, believe at believe.love. And we'll get in the studio again. We'll keep making high quality uh, episodes. But I really appreciate you sticking with me while I'm in China and just going through these changes. And there's so many changes going on in the world. And we're going to try to get you more and more great information that you may not see elsewhere and put it all in one place. So you're part of our community, our family. Thank you for joining us on Believe, and have a great day or night wherever you may be.